We head to the other side of the flooded mine when all of a sudden my buddy's drone crashed into a tree and fell in the water. You'll never believe what else we found down there. After we make the long hike down the side, I started gearing up and realized there are actually more flooded tunnels on this side than the last. This is crazy. I can't wait to explore them, but first I gotta help my buddy find his drone. And while I was swimming to where I thought it crashed, I looked down and saw an upside down truck on the bottom. I went down to get a closer look at the truck and noticed the blinking lights on the drone. Found it. I grabbed the drone, then take a quick look inside the truck to see if there were any bodies, but luckily I didn't see anything. Later on after this trip, some locals told me it was just a junk vehicle that some kids pushed in years ago. But I got my buddy's drone back and he was happy for that. Unfortunately, after a week or two and some rice, it still didn't work though. Anyways, back to exploring the mine. We grouped up with the guys on the kayak like in our previous video and started making our way to one of the entrances. Inside, we turned all of our lights on and started making our way through the main tunnel. I'll show you the tunnel and what's at the end in tomorrow's video. 